Okay. We told you we had a piece of tape, and we're about to show it to you. It doesn't last very long, and John Zarella, if you'll pay close attention here, too, we'll be talking about it. It's uh, in the final moment we before the liftoff. Five, four, See three, that two. hatch door. That's the drag chute door falling off. And that's what we're talking about, uh, what went wrong uh, during the launch of the space shuttle. If that will have any effect uh, on this flight uh, remains to be seen. John Zarella, uh, there it is. Yeah, Lou, it looks as if uh, it, it's hard to tell, but when, you move, when that uh, picture goes back into motion, it doesn't appear as if it hits anything on the way down. Can we put that uh, in motion? Let's replay it and keep uh, and uh, let it well, roll. Well, in, in any event, Lou, as we watch that, uh, it doesn't appear that it hits anything. Here we got we have another look at it. We can watch it come off, and there it is. And what size is it, John? It's 18 inches by 22 inches. Waffle aluminum is what they call it. Uh, it's not very big, that's for sure. But even as I watched that tape earlier, and you you move to the wide shot. Now these are NASA isolation cameras. Those are the three main engines there at the bottom of the vehicle. As you move to the wide shot, you can see the, uh, this, uh, this door actually falling away, uh, even on the wide uh, image from, uh, from launch control there. So uh, here we go again. One more, another look at it. Yeah. Right as the engine begins to vibrate, and yep. then bang, it comes off. So that extreme vibration, the gimbling of the engines, Lou and Natalie. And John, we have uh, an explanation for the astronauts from Mission Control as to what happened here. Let's listen to that tape. Houston, go ahead. Yes, Kurt. Uh, just prior to liftoff, after main engine start, what appears to be a panel in the vicinity of the drag chute door came off the vehicle and came in contact with the center main engine bell. We are evaluating at this time. We do not expect this to impact your, your mission. If it was a drag chute door, this is not a hazardous condition, and we expect the mission to proceed as scheduled. There's, there's mission control saying that the door did, in fact, uh, make contact with the right, center main engine right. bell. But they do, again, say that uh, no impact on the flight. As we were talking earlier, Lou, it's... Uh, that, that the main engines are not used once the vehicle is in orbit. So, uh, and let me show you on the model here real quick one more time where we're talking about now. Uh, you, you can probably see we've got the three main engines down under here. It's this top engine that the door, this is the bell of that top engine. And the door apparently comes off from this, the panel as they call it, comes off from up underneath the wing and then strikes the bell as it falls away back to the base of the launch pad. Uh, so again, a very unusual event here. They'll certainly have to go back and figure out what exactly went wrong uh, because, you know, Endeavor, the shuttle Endeavor is actually sitting behind me over on uh, my left shoulder. And in early December, that vehicle is expected to be lifting off. Lou and Natalie? All right, John Torella at Kennedy Space Center, of course. Johnson Space Center in Houston is now in charge of the mission. That's where we find Tony Clark. And he's been checking into this uh, uh, what happened during liftoff with this uh, drag chute door and has been talking about some possible options if they have to go that route. Tony? Well, in fact, that's what uh, team here at the Johnson Space Center and also at the Kennedy Space Center are looking into is what effect would that have uh, during a news conference where uh, we were told about the door falling off. Uh, some of the questions being raised is whether or not that uh, creates the possibility that the drag chute might come out uh, prematurely, whether on orbit or, or some other uh, time, and whether there might be some effect on the pyrotechnics. And those are issues that NASA is looking at right now. They have a variety of options. You know, there are a variety of sensors around the shuttle, so they can do some checking that way to see if there is a, a possibility uh, that something may happen. They always have the possibility of a spacewalk to go and inspect there. They carry two uh, spacesuits on every shuttle so that they have the option of a spacewalk, but in most respects, that is a last option to go look at. And um, 
I was talking to uh, the public affairs, and, and you know, they're talking about whether or not there is even the possibility of using the uh, remote manipulator on there, or cameras on that, to do some inspection uh, back there. And so they're looking at all the options right now. At this point, uh, apparently no effect. Uh, they foresee no effect on this nine-day mission. Lou, Natalie? All right, Tony Clark at the Johnson Space Center. And again, uh, liftoff happened at 2.20 p.m. Eastern this afternoon, and it was quite exciting knowing John Glenn was strapped inside going up again. John Glenn is speeding again in space, going over 17,000 miles an hour.